Leipzig 3, United 2. United out of the Champions League. Fuck. Fuck. Not really sure what my match reaction is supposed to be after that game. It was a, a game which had the worst first 15 minutes you're ever going to see from a Manchester United team. Followed by another 30 minutes, which was largely insignificant. Followed by a formation switch which marked a bit of a, a change towards United, followed by a 10-minute blitz where we scored two and then didn't get the third and we got knocked out of the Champions League. Wow. Where do you start with a match reaction to that game? Ultimately, United, we've gone out to the Champions League. We've beaten PSG away from home. We've beaten Leipzig 5-0 at home. And we've still gone out of the Champions League. I would probably consider the loss against Istanbul away, the one you should not be losing that game, the more significant match compared to this one, but tonight was the game where United had to do it. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I don't know what you do to these players during training in the week, but those players had absolutely no idea what to do for the first 15 minutes of that game. Aaron Wan-Bissaka decided that he wasn't a right back. Was he a win back? Was he a right back? It was a back five. But he, the players had no idea what they were doing. Angelino spanks it in. Both... Leipzig fullback scored against United within the first 15 minutes and we're playing with a back five. That's embarrassing. Embarrassing is the only way you can describe that. And we were lucky it wasn't 3-0. They got offside. It was a decent goal by them, but it was offside. We were fortunate for the game not to be over within the first 20 minutes. Forsberg had a chance on the six-yard line that he decided to spoon. It was painful watching United in that first 20 minutes, but lo and behold... United decided to turn it on, and United decided to start playing football as the game went on. Van der Beek came on at half-time, helped change the shape of the team. I'm so bored. I'm so bored of watching United play. Actually, no, watching United have a full 90 minutes and not play for the first 45 and decide that, oh, fuck, we're a football team and we should start playing football for the second 45. It's strange. It makes no sense. And the comeback was nearly on there. Pogba, to his credit, came off the bench and massively influenced the game. His agent is a fucking asshole, And I'll be honest, I want rid of Pogba now. And I'll do a video on that at a later date to explain, probably tomorrow, maybe to explain my reasons behind that. The circus isn't worth it. But Pogba, he got on that cross. Boom, header, 2-2. Two, 3-2, two. Two, sorry, not 2-2. Two, two. I'm wishful thinking. Bruno Fernandes obviously scoring the penalty before it, but... Just sitting here watching the highlights of the game, just for fuck's sake. At, at, at what point will United not come out and be just an amateur schoolboy team in the first 45 minutes of a game? Because it's all good and well learning how your team's going to play during the match and reacting to it, but we have a coaching staff. We have a scouting staff. We know how Leipzig are going to play. You're telling me that we shouldn't have expected their fullbacks to be dangerous during this game? <laughs> Basics. Basics, basics. Nagelsmann, he, his team, all of his players, they knew what they were doing at any moment in that game. And I don't think you can really say the same for Solskjaer. And the mere fact that he was willing to completely throw that formation out the window, take Tellers off at half-time, put Van der Beek on, and switch the formation completely, goes to show you that he's not... He didn't put too much trust in his formation. It was, it was a sort of an experiment that he was trying, and the players were like, mm, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Am I, am I supposed to be here? Am I supposed to be there? And they didn't know what they were doing. And Red Bull punished us because of it. Now we're in the Europa, Europa League, and we're probably going to get knocked out by Jose Mourinho at some point in the competition. I can't wait for those headlines. But after you beat PSG away with the, with the result that we did, and after you beat Leipzig at home with the result that we did, you can't then go out of the Champions League. United were just amateurish at the wrong points during this whole group stage. We did the hard parts, the parts where we weren't expected to do, and we, and we did them. But at the, at the, in those, in, it's, it's a bit like United in the league as well, that those matches and those points and those games where you expect United to really hold their own and control and, and, and do their job. They just don't do it. And we didn't do it tonight. 3 0 into the 70, what is it, 80th minute? 3-2 in the 83rd minute. We almost, almost pulled it out of our ass. We didn't. We had a couple of chances there. They nearly scored an own goal right towards the end. And that habit in itself is a, is a brilliant habit. 
to be able to come back from a losing position to win it. But it shouldn't be the fucking week in, week out habit. The week in, week out habit should be being 1 and 2 nil up at half time and controlling a game, not chasing a game. It only seems like we're good at the moment when we chase a match, when the odds are against us, when we're underdogs. And I've said that all along that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer strikes me as an underdog manager. Somebody who thrives when the odds are against him, but somebody who struggles to motivate when, he, when a win's expected. And not that a win was expected tonight, but the pressure was on United to get the draw. But we only started playing football at half-time. We were 2-0 down and the game was effectively done. That's bad management. Strains from Solskjaer. Lots of strange decisions. <sighs> we only needed a draw tonight. We only needed a draw. The hard work had been done in that group up until this point. And we've just gone and thrown it all out the window. We're in the Europa League now. It was a group that no one really expected United to qualify from. We haven't qualified from them. So... I suppose we lived up to expectation there, but what a horrendous first 45 minutes of football. Wan Bissaka, what the fuck were you doing? It almost looked like he was trying to match fix the game. That's how bad his defending was. Harry Maguire. It, uh, that's all you can say about the majority of the performances in that game. I'm not going to try and pick a positive out because we just got lost 3 2 and knocked out the Champions League. So, hell no, I'm not going to pick a positive. I think Popple was good from the bench. That's as far as I'll go. Quite, look, Solskjaer, I think, is a good man, motiv man motivator. But I really, really question him uh, as a tactician and as a coach. Because compared to Nagelsmann right there, the man that we were playing against tonight, he, every single red ball player knew exactly what they were doing for the full 90 minutes. And that's what should be expected of you as a manager and as a coach. But I don't think you can ever say that about United. And that's a problem because from one week to another, we go from brilliant to abysmal. And inside the same 90 minutes, we can go from brilliant to abysmal. We can change formation from 5-3-2 to 4-3-3 to 4-2-3-1. It's up and down, it's up and down, it's up and down. There's no consistency whatsoever. And it comes down to the coaching. It comes down to what the players are learning week in, week out. And unfortunately, it's not enough for United at the moment. There's going to be a lot of calls for Ole out after this. And I'll be honest, I think I, I can understand some of them. Because the real naivety of, of, of the, the tactical decisions of the coaching was really obvious in that game, really, really obvious. And the fact that we were so happy to switch formations at half-time goes to show you that we didn't come into that game with a pure game plan that we are going to stick to. And I always remember when David Moyes went 1-0 down against City within the first, like, six minutes. And he switched his formation straight away. Didn't switch to players. We had Fellaini and Cleverly playing on the wings. But he was so scared about his formation that he might have got it wrong that he switched it within, like, ten minutes. That's what Solskjaer did at half-time. It worked, it helped, improved our team. But tactically, we weren't there tonight. And we're out of the Champions League, we're in the Europa League. Let me know what your reaction to that is in the comments below. But it's exhausting watching United. It really, genuinely is.